Folks, here we are. We are talking about the FD-60 sensor replacement. The sensor is located right over here. Now, what we have to do is get to it and change it. It's pretty straightforward. Now, obviously, turn off the power, unplug all your power, and you're good to go. Look, you may need a rag, and you may need some pliers, some large pliers like this, because the sensor is in here. We have to unscrew this guy from that guy, okay? So... <coughs> the best way to do it, excuse me, is to lock in the top part with a large plier like this. Just like that. And then the bottom one, you can hand turn that, okay? Then it comes off. You heard that. It just came off. And now I should be able to take that off by hand. Okay? You see that? It's coming off. Now you could rip off the label, but... Again, the label is there for safety purposes, so other people know what the unit does. So you may want to take it off and replace it elsewhere. But just be careful. You just go slowly, okay? Be patient. Go slowly. Unscrew this cap. And once you're done, it's pretty straightforward. Look, you take off the cap. Now the sensor is right over here, okay? Now be gentle. You don't want to strain these cables. Um and then they're going to be popping off. Hold the PCB, the green board, with your two fingers. And this is the sensor. Just go ahead and unplug it. Now, as you could see, these electrochemical sensors have three pins. And they are configured in such a way where you cannot insert it wrong. Okay? It's what we call in the electronic engineering business. It's polarized. So you cannot insert this wrong. Because it's an asymmetric format, you will not be able to insert it wrong. Okay, so replace it, take it off, replace it with the new sensor, and slowly put the PCB back in. It fits very nicely and tightly, okay? Go just like that, as you can see. Fit it in nicely, and get your cap and screw that in. Now, as you can see, the cap has some wire mesh to prevent any dirt or large particulate from entering and slowly screw it back on. Take your time, again. Now, you don't want to mess up with the label. You may get crinkled in there, so just be careful. I'm being very careful. I want to preserve the label, and I encourage you to preserve the label. Just slowly turn. Slowly turn. And bang. It's back to its original state. And I've changed the sensor. It's as simple as that, folks. Okay, so the key number one lesson here is go slow, be patient. Use some large pliers. Use a rag. I use a rag so obviously it doesn't scratch the unit. And you're good to go. I hope that makes sense. See you soon.